So you've made your branding, but now what do you do with it? How do you get it organized in a way that is really easy for you to use? One of my absolute favorite features when I'm using Adobe tools is libraries. I can create a library in Adobe Illustrator with everything that I've created for my branding and then access that in all the other Adobe tools that I use. So in today's episode, we're gonna be creating a library, but then also heading to Adobe Express to turn that into a brand kit. So let's go. So here are all the brand assets that I've created for Whisk over the last five episodes. And what we're gonna do now is create our brand library. Now you'll see over on the right hand side, there is a library that I've already created for my own brand. If you don't have the libraries panel open already, you just need to head to window and libraries and this will pop up. So I'm gonna head back to the main menu and I'm just gonna click create new library and I'm gonna name it Whisk Branding and click create. And then it's a case of just adding over all of our assets. Now I would recommend being organized with this as this is gonna help when we then open it and convert it to a brand kit in Adobe Express shortly. So what we're gonna start off by doing is we're gonna create groups. And you'll see at the bottom, there is a little folder icon and we'll click new group. So we're gonna create one of the logos and I'm gonna name this colors. Then I'm going to click off it so it doesn't make a subgroup and add another folder or another group. And I'm gonna call this fonts. We'll add another one and call it icons. And then finally, we will add one more and we will call it patterns. So. We've got all of our groups here. If you want to reorder them, you can literally just drag them up and down and then we will start adding everything into the correct folders. So for the logos, you can select the logo that you wanna add, go to the plus button in the bottom and click graphic, add graphic. And it, it's gonna bring everything down the bottom here and then we can move them into their groups. Another option is that you select the logo and you just drag it over to the panel and it's gonna bring it in as well. Now you'll see here, it's called them artwork one and artwork two. So you can rename these. So I could call this logo matcha. And then I'm just gonna drag these up into the logos panel. Next up, we're gonna add the colors. If you just click on one of these colors and then head to the plus button and choose fill color, that's gonna add it at the bottom. So you can go through and add each one. And then again, it's just a case of dragging them into the colors folder. And you'll see it's also giving you the hex code of that color there as well, which is handy. So next up, let's add the fonts. So select the font that you wanna add, click on the plus button as before, and you wanna choose character style. So that's gonna add your header and it's gonna give you the information about the font that you've added. And then I'm just gonna double click here and just label that header and I'll drag it up to fonts. And then I would do the same again for the body copy and um, bring that up into fonts as well. Next, I'm gonna add the icons. And again, this is gonna be the same as with the logos. So I'm just gonna select on it, add the plus and click graphic or as I mentioned before, I can select it and drag it over. And then I'm just gonna put these into the icons. So here we have the library with everything added. So here we are on the Adobe Express homepage. And what I'm gonna do is head over to your stuff. And at the top, you're gonna see projects, libraries, and favorites. So we're gonna head into libraries and here you will see my Whisk branding. And what I'm gonna do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and I'm going to click use as brand. Now this is going to move it over into the brand section on the left hand side in the panel. So if I click on that we will then see the whisk branding there and if I double click on it you'll see that it has brought in the assets that I added. Now it should bring everything into the right folder up here but if it doesn't you might just go have to go in and tweak a few things and add them manually. So for example, if you needed to add a font, you can head into fonts, click add font, and I'm just gonna search for my body copy font. And you'll see in fonts that you can actually categorize what the font is. So for this one, I've got it as body. These ones I'll set as headers. So there are all my colors. Again, I can select a primary color. So I'm just gonna click on this one and make that my primary. And then the others can be secondary or none. Here we have our assets, so photography, patterns, and icons, and here we have our logos. And again, you can click on these dots and you can make one of them the primary logo. 
So we could select all of these to primary and all of these ones to secondary. Now in a future episode, we are going to be having a look at templates. This is where your templates will appear in your brand kit. I hope after this episode that you're feeling nice and organized and confident that you know where everything is for your brand so that you can use it quickly and consistently. Make sure you pop any questions you have below and don't forget to subscribe to Adobe Live. See you in the next episode.